up, big boy? Big boy fans will love this list. We are here to share so many fascinating untold truths about this USA restaurant chain, which has been around since the 1930s. If you think the big boy mascot is cute and are curious about this eatery's menu items, then let's get the inside scoop on the top 10 untold truths of big boy. Good God, he's back. Big Boy used to have a different name. Big Boy. Big Boy used to be called The Pantry. The Pantry was a single restaurant. It had 10 stools and sold lunches to customers. Later on, the founder of The Pantry decided to change its name to Bob's Pantry. This small eatery was promoted as the home of the Big Boy Burger. Eventually, everything was rebranded as Big Boy, and the rest is history. This restaurant chain was founded in Southern California in 1936 by Bob Wyan. Over the years, this company grew exponentially. Its success was driven by a fun new restaurant name, an adorable mascot, and an abundance of hearty, tasty food. This is a tasty burger. Today, there are a plethora of Big Boy locations, but not as many as there used to be. Like many restaurant chains, Big Boy has had its ups and downs. It's always hard to stay on top. In 2000, its previous franchisor, Elias Brothers Corporation, had to file bankruptcy. At that time, there were over 405 of the eateries in America. 11 years later, there were only 140. But the restaurant chain keeps going, even when times are hard. It does have a lot of loyal customers, but needs to adapt to economic shifts, just like every other restaurant chain does. Big Boy has a long history in the USA. It's a restaurant chain with heritage. Thinking you're in America. Japanese franchises don't offer big boy burgers. It's always interesting to see what restaurant chains offer in other countries. When it comes to Big Boy Japan locations, Big Boy Burgers are not on the menu. That's almost hard to believe, isn't it? After all, Big Boy Burgers are really what Big Boy is known for. There are 279 of these eateries in Japan, and none of them offer the classic Big Boy Burger. Japanese Big Boy restaurants have been around since the late 70s. They have menus which differ radically from the American menus. In addition to the notable app absence of the Big Boy Burger, Japanese menus don't include a lot of menu items that are available in the USA. In Japan, it's possible to enjoy Japanese beer at Big Boy restaurants. That may be enough of a perk to make up for the lack of certain well-beloved menu items. In Japan, the restaurant is considered a Western-style eatery, and steak is on the menu. You want your steak? Yeah! These restaurants also have buffet-style assortments of soups, which customers may scoop into bowls with ladles. Bun-free steak burgers are are available, and bread is offered on the side. Some eateries don't offer the burgers, though. Menus vary pretty widely. You can even get a nice cafe latte if you want one. If you're planning to visit Japan, you may want to make time for a visit to a Japanese big boy. It'll be a lot different than what you're used to in America. Portions for most menu items are reportedly really generous. What a feast! The founder sold his vehicle to fund the first big boy. That car is sensitive. It's always fascinating to learn about the lengths that entrepreneurs will go to make their business dreams come true. When their sacrifices do pay off, it's inspiring. Bob Wyan, the founder of Big Boy Restaurants, sold his own vehicle to get the money that he needed for his very first restaurant. He got a whopping 350 bucks for his ride. Bear in mind, that was bigger money back in the 30s when inflation is factored in. That gave him enough capital to get the pantry up and running. As we mentioned earlier, the pantry was the first iteration of Big Boy. Bob Bob was smart to take a risk. Your money's gotten more risk. His gamble really paid off. These days, there are weekly meetups outside of the Big Boy restaurant in Burbank, California. People come to that Big Boy to show off their classic cars and check out other people's classic cars. Each Friday, from 4 in the afternoon until 10 at night, the classic car show is in progress, based on information from the official bobs.net website. Music legend Brian Wilson of Beach Boys fame once attended the show. You may be familiar with the Beach Boys tune, Little Dude scoop. Brian is into cars. It's interesting and ironic that the founder of a fast food chain that hosts classic car shows had to sell his own auto to get started in the restaurant biz. Big Boy fans are so glad that Bob Wyan was willing to sacrifice his own wheels to become a restaurant owner. He surely bought some amazing cars later on, which were worthy of display at the Big Boy franchise in Burbank. She better be sure the rewards are worth the risk. The owner invented the double-deck cheeseburger. Man, I got these 
cheeseburgers, man. Ever tried a double deck cheeseburger? Big Boy is renowned for these burgers, as well as their french fries. Founder Bob Wyan created the hearty double deck cheeseburger. Today, there are two double decks to choose from. Customers may go for classic Big Boy burgers or choose super Big Boy burgers. The classic Big Boy features a couple of beef patties that have been seasoned, as well as American cheese, special sauce, and shredded lettuce. All of this goodness is served on a sesame seed bun. When you order a classic Big Boy with fries, you'll get great taste and 780 calories. And I don't gain a pound. The other option is the Super Big Boy. It's a bigger version of the original classic Big Boy. It contains twice as much cheese, plus beef patties and other tempting ingredients. A Super Big Boy with fries has 1,125 calories. These aren't the only burgers currently on offer from Big Boy. Another option is the Best Cheeseburger on the Planet, which features a half pound of beef. Or the Barbecue Bacon Cheeseburger, which is flavor-packed thanks to its barbecue sauce and bacon. Other choices to consider include include the Patty Melt, which features American and Swiss cheeses, the Swiss Miss, the Brawny Lad, and the Built By You Cheeseburger. As the name suggests, the Built By You Cheeseburger may be customized with your choice of cheese, toppings, and sauce. Cheeseburger first. The mascot was based on a real child. Am I a real boy? The big boy mascot is cute, isn't he? You may not know that he was based on a real boy. He was just six years of age and his name was Richard Woodruff. Bob Wyan was fond of the boy because Rick was really into burgers. He was a loyal customer of Bob's right from the beginning. Bob honored the little boy by modeling his famous mascot on Rick. Today, the big boy mascot is very famous. It's an adorable mascot which offers a taste of Americana. People who stop by big boy restaurants love getting their pictures taken beside the mascot. He's a standout sculpture that few can resist. I think you can't resist me. Since he's so popular, the Big Boy restaurant chain offers fun merchandise that features his image. When you drop by bigboy.com and find the swag button, you'll be directed to a web page that offers official Big Boy merchandise, including t-shirts, dinnerware, and a very cute mascot bobblehead. It's even possible to order plastic bottles of Big Boy Michigan Special Sauce, Slim Jim Sauce, and Tartar Sauce. Seasoning salt and coffee are also available. While a lovable mascot isn't enough to keep a restaurant chain afloat, it doesn't hurt. The mascot is probably the first thing that comes to mind when people hear or see the words Big Boy. You wanna be one of the big boys? The Big Boy founder went into politics. That's right, he's gonna be mayor. Bob Wyan was the founder of Big Boy and he passed away at the age of 77. This sad event took place in 1992. Before his passing, he pushed the envelope in business through his successful restaurant chain and also got into politics. He was once the mayor of Glendale, California. Aside from making waves in local politics, he was renowned for his progressive attitude towards his own big boy employees. I am thrilled that you'll be joining our team. He was one of the pioneers in terms of offering caring and beneficial programs to his workers, including health insurance plans and profit sharing plans. Wyan didn't sell his stake in big boy until 1967. He was bought out by Marriott Corporation. Later on, Marriott Corp sold the fast food chain. Wyan Wyan's political activities began way back in 1948, when he became a member of the city council in Glendale, California. His time on city council must have inspired him to run for mayor. Naturally, he was successful, just like he was with his big boy restaurants. And I'm gonna clean up this town good. There was a grisly crime at a big boy restaurant. Which of the world's villains is responsible for this heinous crime? In 1995, in Ohio, there was a grisly occurrence at a big boy restaurant in Toledo. The police were alarmed to discover that an adorable statue of Big Boy had been cruelly vandalized. Poor Big Boy was cut into a bunch of pieces. The evildoers wrote, Big Boy is dead on pieces of the statue. These rebels without a cause also felt compelled to leave notes at the scene in order to secure a little local fame. In the notes, they called themselves the Pimps of Pimpliness. That isn't the only time that a Big Boy statue was the subject of criminal activity. Someone who owned a Big Boy statue and displayed it outdoors on his property wasn't happy when he discovered that his own big boy statue was missing. The statue was stolen, but was eventually recovered by the police. A landlord found Big Boy in the basement of a rental property where a bunch of students used to live. When the owner got Big Boy back, he was sickened to discover that someone had added an Adolf Hitler mustache to the statue, according to an interview with the statue's owner, along with pics of the defaced statue. The vandals even added a thug life tattoo. Thug life. 
The statue was being displayed at the home of a Cincinnati lawyer when it was stolen and defaced in a truly appalling manner. After he got Big Boy back, the owner planned to have him restored to his former glory. He also planned to fill the statue with cement to make it much harder to steal. We didn't steal anything. A Big Boy eatery was a Robert De Niro movie location. What you doing here? De Niro fans who also love Big Boy burgers will be pleased to learn that a Big Boy restaurant was a movie location for Robert De Niro's film Heat. This movie also features actors Val Kilmer and Al Pacino. Renowned for being a superb movie about LA, Heat was filmed at a wide array of locations in Los Angeles, including a Bob's Big Boy. This particular Big Boy is located in Burbank. The next time you're starring in a film about a heist, be sure to ask your director to film a heist planning scene at your fave Big Boy. I will not hesitate. Heat was directed by Michael Mann, and it was a very successful film, thanks in part to its amazing locations. This film was released in 1995. It made a lot of money, and it was based on a true story. As you can see, there's so many untold truths about Big Boy to discover. Since this restaurant's been around for so long, it's got a colorful history. Big Boy Burbank seems particularly interesting because of its classic car shows and its connection to the film Heat. Bob's Big Boy is in a prime location. It's a Hollywood Big Boy that gets lots of attention. Well, it appears to be in the shape of a Big Boy. Vintage Big Boy memorabilia is valuable. Putting these things in the shop will bring people in my shop. If you've got some authentic Big Boy merchandise at home and you're willing to part with it, you should know that your memorabilia may be worth some real money. People adore classic Big Boy merchandise, and they are willing to pay a pretty penny for it at auctions, whether the auctions happen online or offline. During the third season of Storage Wars, Jared and Brandy bought a bunch of stuff that was in a storage locker and discovered that some Big Boy memorabilia was included. One Big Boy item that was included had a resale value of 300 to 350 bucks. I'll give you 350 for them, that would be my top dollar. Bear in mind that Big Boy memorabilia has to be genuine and in good condition. It can't be a clever reproduction of a vintage design. If you have this stuff lying around and you want to drum up some cash, selling it now may become an option. It might be hard to part with super cute big boy vintage items such as hand-painted dolls because they are really special. These items are in demand, not just because they are relatively rare and old, it's also because they are so much fun to look at. Big boy memorabilia captures the hopeful spirit of old school America. It's also valuable. Big boy even had comic books, which were given to children in the 40s. The legendary Stan Lee once contributed to the Big Boy comic series. Egg-shell-shear. The Beatles loved noshing at Big Boy. He's very healthy. Even musical legends crave fast food. The Beatles were Big Boy fans. There's a Beatles booth in a Big Boy restaurant in Burbank, California. In the 60s, when the Beatles were in the States, they used to drop by the restaurant. This was a pivotal time for the Fab Four. Help had just been released in the USA. At the Burbank Big Boy, there's a plaque that names two hits from the record. And the Grammy goes to... If you're in Burbank and you're a Beatles fan, you may want to go and see the booth and plaque for yourself. Sitting in the booth will mean that you're sitting in the same place that John, Paul, George, and Ringo sat while enjoying their big boy food. A big boy burger meal, I bet. We've got a lot of fab videos for you to fill up on. All you need to do is tap that screen. And if you never want to miss out, just click on that subscribe button and hit that bell to join our notification squad.